Okay, one more video because I'm really, uh, I've been really thinking about this lately. Um, so our operation, our couponers unite operation accountability is coming up on Friday. I don't know if that's still what we're calling it. Um, so if you haven't checked out Pinching Penny's videos about it, here's what we're going to do. On Friday the 10th, we are going to go on um, Target's Facebook page. You do not have to uh, do it at a certain time. It's just kind of throughout the day, you know, and let them know, hey, this is what I want um, from Target. This is one of my experiences. This is how it could be better, blah, blah, blah. We don't want to go up in there causing a whole bunch of problems and all that kind of stuff. So keep it professional because couponing is kind of a job for some of us. Um, not not in the sense that we get paid, but in the fact that we're saving so much money that we're basically getting paid to buy stuff. Um, so, you know, try to, try to keep your anger from all your bad experiences under wraps. What I'm planning on doing myself is um, I'm actually going to go to Target on Friday. I'm going to attempt to buy some items, hopefully they're in stock, and use some coupons. And I'm going to base my uh, comment on Target's Facebook page on my shopping experience. Now, if it's a good shopping experience, then I'm going to tell them, you know, I had a great shopping experience today at Target. I wish that all my past experiences had been just as great. I hope that you continue to blah, 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 and, you know, something about training their cashiers and employees to know the policy, okay? Because that's basically, that's basically the issue we're having is they don't know their own coupon policy, and so we're hoping that they'll keep a copy up by the register. They'll do training, you know, they'll train all their employees properly on the coupon policy and how to read a coupon, which would really save us some grief, you know, because we don't want to go up in there and have, like, the attention and spotlight on us, which always happens because for some reason... You know, we always have an issue and then the line's getting held up and everybody thinks, damn those couponers, when in reality, you know, if the cashier and the staff knew their own policy and knew how to read a coupon, we'd be all straight. So that's basically what that's about. Check out Pinching Pennies uh, 2011 with Priscilla. She is awesome. She is kind of banning us all together to do this and we're planning on hitting several retailers up uh, within within a certain time span. I hope that on that list is Safeway because you guys all know my Safeway drama and issues with Safeway and I just really want them to teach their employees the coupon policy and how to read a coupon. That's all That's all I really want. My life would be so much better if, if that was the case. And to not assume that because somebody wants a bunch of Palm Wonderful juice that I'm part of a terrorist cell because apparently that's a safety threat <laughs> that I want more than six pomegranate juices. So, um, that is about it. I am off to clean up my kitchen and, um, clean up my entry way because we are having some playmates over, those little kids that I made those Valentine's treats for. So, I will see you guys later. Oh, and, um, make sure you check out Pinching Pennies to, and, um, You'll see that there's quite there's quite a few videos about it, so make sure you go through her videos. Uh, you can start from the beginning. I believe it's at the end of January, and then she has consecutive videos like a couple times a week after that. All right, bye guys.